on that note, everybody. Chris is welcome from TMR Zoo here in sunny, beautiful Mansfield, Massachusetts, here with Vanna. Uh, give us your name and uh, what is your name? I'm Dave. I'm from Steven. I'm Joel, and I play guitar and I sing. Alright, so you guys have been all over the country, all over the world. What's it like to come back to your home state? Like the hometown band? What's it like? We left last night early just to do it. No one recalled it. We just left last night early just be in the parking lot here. Uh, we love it here, man. We love being from here. And every time, every time Boston, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Maine, and gets close on tour, if we just start getting sucked in, we start telling a tour, like, it's coming, baby, it's coming. It's like, it's not only, not only are we going to have an amazing show because but there's no one like doing it. Like, 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 it's going to smash. You know what I mean? I watched Bear 2 this morning. They opened up and the crowd was insane. And they walked off stage and they were like, why did that happen? And like, dude, welcome to Massachusetts. Right. Another better than Boston. Not, the, not the better than it. So it's, it's something that we look forward to coming home to every time. Nothing different. I'll take a Boston crowd over anyone. Anything. That's what we like to hear. So uh, your new album, Boy, debuted last month. Yeah. So uh, what's your what's your response been? Uh, Overwhelmingly yeah. positive. To, to the point of almost being surprised, but that's not the right word. It's just we've been taken back by how positive. I mean, every time a band listens to an album, there's always the noise on the internet where oh, it's not this, it's not that, and there's been almost nothing. Like that. yeah, everyone's been now. just so open-minded and. Again. Yeah, it's coming up. It's the first time they've heard it, or people have been listening to it for ten years. And they, they want it. Yeah. We, we, we get a lot of tours. We play nothing a lot. You guys play old stuff. You guys play old stuff. I know it's like fine, man. Now this tour, they go to say like, are you guys playing? I know we get defensive. Are you guys playing new stuff on board? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Sure. I want to hear that. Like, yeah, I love the new record. Like, this thing is live. It's going for so well. And that's kids want to hear so off the new record. I'm like. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. So, yeah, we've all been like very taken back by it, and uh, it's definitely a record that we wrote. And, you know, our fans and that love this style of music, you know, in mind. And uh, I don't know, man, we just kind of all been like, wow, that was the response to that song was amazing. Response to that we, we actually added another new song into our set because it's going so well. We're like, let's throw another one in there. It's been great. So I'm just curious, like, you know, after the show lies down, you guys like to sit down. What do you guys like to do backstage at Warped Tour with all the other bands around? You guys pick up other bands? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Man. I mean, we, uh, we play Cornhole a lot by uh, year on the hotel. We have college. Yeah, college. Yeah, yeah. 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 um, so we play Cornhole a lot. Uh, uh, we kick it with, like, Hair Tooth and uh, Couple Morale. Uh, Stray, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of friends up here. Everyone's friends just because the uh, band's been different from the sound. You know, friends outside the band have, like, like, we can do this not do anti serve. He has a DJ up here. He's just amazing. He's awesome. Um, yeah, it's one thing. It's a big adult song. We try to hang out with the band, you know? Um, you know, we make some drinks. We hang out. Uh, some of us live while we're out here. My wife does yoga while she's here. It's a lot. It's a lot to do. And there's barbecues every night. We're just kind of kidding. It's a pretty aggressive NHL 14 uh, games going on. Got some Xbox during the mix happening. Absolutely. Yeah, so I mean, there's, there's always something to do. Or you can just do a relax, kick it, take a shower, look to the So I mean, there's something for everybody out there. So the amount of guys, the amount of places you guys tour, you guys are all over the world. What, what are the best moments about being on tour? What, what are some of the, the downside? I think for us, the only, the only downside really is that you miss out on a lot of stuff at home with my family um, and you know your friends, whatever. We're all blessed that we have families that support us so we're doing what we do. But yeah, the only, that's the only downside. You know, it, your family misses you a lot. You miss birthday. So I mean like you, you miss things. But at the same time, our world it's I, I have a hard time even describing it to people that's like our world out there is just like when I'm home I feel like I'm missing it out there and I'm all apart. So yeah, I just I, I miss my mom, you know what I mean? Uh, my wife doesn't use this one. I miss my wife. Um, I miss laying in my bed, in my apartment, like, not doing anything. Just like, chilling, yeah. you know? 
Uh, Texas. You could go from, I'll give the example of we have a really good fan, family friend who put us up on an off team. He basically had a giant pool party. So he got catering and a couple of eggs and just snacks. We hung out, we played the pool. You know, we could go from that to a blown out transmission or a broken axle on the side of the road in the middle of the desert within a couple of days we take for instance even the more extreme we played uh, we went to the UK last summer and we played uh what's that festival that we played in uh, uh, right. uh, uh, uh Ghost Festival Ghost Festival Elite and uh we closed the stage closed along with the stage we had life on the stage and it was we played at the same time as like terror yeah terror terror was the other and our set was massive explosion. I'm talking about people collecting ceilings, people like like going actually insane. So so much merch, loaded out, and have literally nowhere to sleep. Really, we had to drive nowhere, nowhere for us up. All every hotel was booked. Nothing, and we were literally like, we're gonna sleep in the van that we're in. We can't really sleep in it. Right. And we were like dressing outside and like fucking do. Right. We ended up driving. And then lowest point, so frustrated, bummed out. And then a, 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 an amazing family in Glasgow was like, we're playing there the next day. And they're like, well, our tour manager, the person who our came, some guy called his mom and said, hey, I've got a band, can you put them up? And right now, it's, 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 it's about midnight, one o'clock. Yeah. Mom, you put these guys up, they'll be there in six hours. Yeah. And, and she goes, of course. Oh. And we drove, and everyone was like, oh, man, Okay. After the highest point, low right. slow, and then we wake up and meet us all. You know, nice to meet some. She, she had beds made for us. We had beds made for us. She was actually to meet that in a big just missed us. Uh, and just right back up to like, wow, man, the power of the yeah. yeah. so, see, The highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Yeah, just that all the time. So, like, so uh, let us know how they can support the band. I really can check you guys out. Come to a show. Yeah, you can come to a show. Get the right Go buy our record. We have for sale at our first tent for five dollars. We'll have it on sale on our merch table at clubs for five bucks. Um, we just want you to get it. We just want it in your hands so you can listen to it. You got it on vinyl, you can get it on iTunes, you can get it on pretty much any store that sells music. Just pick it up and the jam because so far everyone seems to like it, so we think you might like it too. Yeah. And then come to a show and just yeah. Yeah. Perfect. There you have it, guys. I'm here with Vanna. You can come check him out at the Monster Sage. We're all through our Wolf Tour. I'm Chris Wilder bringing you to the zoo. Thank you very much.